What's going on guys, Joe with GRC here. So today, working on my Red Cat. This is the uh, Blackout XTE Pro. Uh, it's got some issues after I jumped it a few times and now it seems like the front and rear gears on it kind of bind up a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of hear that or not. Anyway, that's how it sounds. So. Anyway, I need to go ahead and tear this thing apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it and figure out it might be some shims or something like that that I need to add in or remove. I had the same kind of issue with my uh, Red Cat shredder and it was binding all up even after I replaced the differentials in it. So it was rubbing up on the sides of the actual casing. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse it and take a look at what is going on, let you guys know as well if you have the same problem. <laughs> All right, now that I took out about 30 screws, it seems like, um, I just put the cover back on, as far as that gear cover, but, and I re uh, took out the diff, as far as the drive shaft in here as well, took out the pinion gear, and the reason why I did all that, just to kind of show you like, oh, if you spin it, it spins okay, but you can kind of hear like a little bit of a binding noise. But once you were to, you know, you go to screw this thing down, it gets stuck so you know if you do it without any screws in it it's okay somewhat it's still kind of binding a little bit and then once you put that pressure on there as it would be screwed down it's like psh, forget it it gets kind of bind up again so that's what I need to kind of investigate a little bit more on that part of it so that way I can uh, figure out the culprit if it's something to do with just uh, some shims that I need to put in there more than likely as far as to wear so that's what I'm going to go ahead and take a look at and let you guys know Okay, so what I did was, uh, let me show you here real quick. So if I spin it, I even have a lot of pressure on it. You can kind of see my thumb there. But I have a lot of pressure on it where now I can spin it. So what I did was I took, there's, you see these two shims right here? Spacers, whatever you want to call them, shims. They were on this side where the bearing is, where that ring gear is. So I took, there was one, there was two in there, obviously those two. I took them out, I did one tried it and it was still kind of binding a little bit. I took the other one out and success on that part of it. So yes, the, the ring gear still does wobble a little bit, but because I took those bearings or those shims out, it seems like that made it a little bit better. Uh, you know, how it's gonna perform down the road, well, it will be determined once I actually get this thing all put back together. But I'm happy, at least I have less resistance when I spin it here, where before it's binding all up. So that's a win in my book. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together, and I'm going to go ahead and work on the front and see if it's probably the same exact thing too. All right, back to being smooth again, and all that binding and everything like that. So very nice on that part of it. You can definitely hear it. Definitely much better. Now, four shims were taken out, two in the front and two in the rear. As far as, you know, you might ask, like, why didn't you do a little bit more in depth on it? it there's just a lot of screws to it, and I didn't want to go step by step by step. There's just screws everywhere in here just to take them all off. They're, a lot of them are the same size or some that are a little bit longer, but uh, you know, you can always kind of mark them or what have you, but uh, it's enough for me to memorize. I know where they all go. So it's good on that part of it. Um, also, this is 32 pitch gears that are in here. So that's nice on that part of it. There's no slipper clutch or anything like that in there. So it just means that, you know, the only, uh, you know, you got your two way differentials in the front and the rear, and that's going to be it just to transfer power that way. So uh, that is, it's a good vehicle overall. I don't know how fast it is on 3S, and then some people were saying, hey, I ran mine on 3S and it made some weird noises, so I decided not to run on 3S. That's cool. And I ran actually the brush system on a 3S system, and that thing screams. It went like 36 miles an hour on a brush system. That's a decent sized truck anyhow, but it was still pretty good on a 2S. So I don't think you want to push it too much being on a 3S. Now it does say here, if you decide to go with a 3S, now this is coming from the actual electronic speed controller. Speed controllers and motors are totally different when it comes to what they can handle. Just so you know on that one. Now the motor doesn't say what it's capable of, but the electronic speed controller does tell you. 
And if you do decide to go on a 3S, that you change out the 5 volts uh, fan to a 12 volt fan. I ran it on just what it was, even on 3S, and it went probably like 40 something miles an hour. But I didn't have it. I didn't have any way of gauging it at the time to let you know exactly. But I'm gonna say it was definitely in the 40s, uh, and it was pretty quick. Tires. It's a pretty good little truck. So if you guys are looking for an RC car, it's not a bad one anyhow for you know like the 150, 60 range on a brushed motor system the other ones the pro ones like a little over 200 bucks but anyway uh speaking of if you're looking to buy an rc car we do offer klarna but uh typically you got to spend like 299 299 dollars to get finance options as far as with klarna so you can pay over time but it is something we offer and we've bought, been offering that for a very long time so just in case you guys didn't know but also check out omgrc.com uh, also, you can leave a comment down below. Let me know if this video was helpful for you guys, if you had the same issue, or just kind of an FYI, at least now you know, right? So that's going to wrap it up. And I appreciate you guys, as always, leaving those comments, giving the thumbs up. And until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.